Welcome to the final chapter of Bob's visit to New York. While he was here, we got some amazing long-range kills with double taps at 100 yards, triple taps at 206 yards. In general, I think we had the most fun of any YouTuber ever. We'll start this video with arguably the luckiest woodchuck on the farm. Yep. You ready? We're clear for right now. Yep. Okay. Uh, three, two. Oh, he ducked it. Hurry. He ducked it. Oh my gosh, that would have been a clean double. <laughs> what the hell? He ducked it because of the tractor. Yep. <laughs> the next woodchuck gave us a run for our money too. The grass was tall and he would just not stand up. I could see him, but unfortunately Bob couldn't and it's really hard to describe. Alright. Do you see him? Yep. Okay, wait, I don't. He did not stand. Huh? He didn't stand yet. I can see him very well though. You can? Yeah, it's hard man, but where's that tall uh it's like that tall onion grass. Yeah. He's right behind the tips of one of them. Yep. So you're on that spot? I'm on it, yeah. All right, I'm going to try and whistle him up. Okay. I saw him move a little bit. Yeah. You want me to whistle louder? Can you? Yeah, go for it. Oh. No. Maybe normal get the hint. Yeah, that wasn't. That wasn't better. That was terrible. There he goes. See him? Or no? E yeah, I think I can see his ear. Oh, thank goodness I didn't pull harder. The single, the first stage was out. Oh. You still see him? Yep. Oh, there Got we him? go. Yeah. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, dead. Right there. <laughs> Double tap woodchuck, baby. <laughs> <laughs> nice shooting, Bob. Nice job. That, <laughs> that, was, that was good. That took a lot of waiting, didn't it? It did. Let's go it see what his sure. head looks like when it is. <laughs> I was looking at the darkest clump of onion stuff, and from where I was, he was at the top of the closer stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah, so that's why I kept looking way farther than where he I was. I might have said he was for I don't, Let's see, I, I said like 20 yards past the roadway, so. But remember, my range estimation is terrible. <laughs> but your shooting makes up for it, Bob. <laughs> Maya, I got a. I'm pretty much handicapped well, in every way. Here's, I got a. Here's I, 20. There's the woodchuck. So yeah. I mean 25. Yeah. Well, and I was looking then at 35. Yeah. But yeah, I uh. Prone whenever I can. Bipod, <laughs> range finder, everything. <laughs> Normally, all the birds still circling. Oh, I, I know. Think we gotta come back tomorrow. Yeah. There. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on down, Bob, and get your Bass Pro gift card. <laughs> oh, look, he was so close to the hole. Round. He would have gotten down so easily without. That is a huge, huge double tap in the head there. Oh man. Yeah, that's a nice size chuck. Yeah, he's a good one. He never even flinched. No, he, after he that. didn't have a chance. He just died. There's an exit right there. And there's the other one. Right one right out the throat and one right oh. out the cheek. And we're all we could see was like that. Yeah, and we're shooting from that angle, so Down, yeah, it was perfect shots. Perfect head shots. If it's only oh. fifty one yards, it better be perfect. <laughs> but Yeah. You better. 25 cal, smoke them if you got them. Love it. Good job, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> done and we, done. We, yeah. we completed the Bob needs a woodchuck while he's in New York. Yeah. With a woodchuck down, we get right back to the birds. This guy's at 206 yards, and unfortunately, Bob was reloading a magazine, so we went without him. I'm going to hold in the kill zone on the right side of it. Ready? Oh, he's gone. He'll come back. He just wanted us to wait for Bob. Oh, He's back. Yep. Bob's gonna take too long. Take one on the right. All right. 
I am with you there. Ready? Yep. Three, two. Done. Dead. Sliding down. Is he? Yeah, here he goes. <laughs> oh. Nice shot, bro. Thanks. You too. This bird ended up just the way we like him. So dead. We only ended up with one bird out of this group. The watch's feet after the shot. When you see those legs dangle, it's over. Three. Done. Done, done. <laughs> no ending gear. And he crashed and burned right, right into that tall stuff. At first, in the moment, we thought that Norm and I had just missed, and that Bob had made his shot. But, as it turns out, reviewing the slow motion footage, it's pretty obvious we had the range wrong by a couple yards, and our slugs all missed high. This guy was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I absolutely love shots like this. At long range, it's hard to get the slug to fit under the roof and get to the bird. But it reminds me of that movie, Enemy at the Gates, and I take them every time we get a chance. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, who's shooting what? I'm on... I'll, I'll take the left, even though it's harder. Yeah, I'm going to take the right. Yeah, I, I have to take the right. Oh, okay. sure you do. See that that one's on both of them. <laughs> ready? Yep. Three, two... Oh yeah! Oh, there's feathers in yeah, a whole bunch of them. I don't know which one. Oh, he's going down. One of them went down. Nice. Inside the barn too. Nice. I held right on left edge. That's he's what good. I ended up doing too. I switched my wind call light. Yeah. There's too many floaties going from the left. So ignore it. Yeah. That is 145 with a 10 degree angle. It's gonna 139. Yeah, we tend to focus on pigeons at this farm mostly, but the starlings and cowbirds are a real problem, so we take them as targets of opportunity as well. The cowbirds and blackbirds are all taken under a federal permit, so no need to worry about legality. We've got it covered. Hey, I'm just going to hold two this time. Yep. I'm ready. Alright. Norm, you want to count? Yep. Both of you ready? Yeah. Yep. Three. Freeze frame. That slug is coming in perfect, and he ducks it. One more time without the freeze frame, now that you know what's going to happen. There is literally no way to see this in real time, and you only find out that you made a good shot, but still missed later. I'm good now. Alright, you're on the pie ball all the way right. Okay. And are you ready, Norm? I'm ready. All right, so now you have yep. still the pie ball, Bob. Yep. You good, Norm? Yep. Three, two. Done. Nice, buddy. I freaking I put I my safety fun. back on. You got to be kidding. Did you Norm? Yeah. Although this bird was able to get some altitude and get off the silo with the other birds, he did end up falling about 30 yards away. I'm going to try and get better about following them after the shot. There's some really fantastic falls we're missing. Yep, want a bracket? Oh, there he is. Norm's got two, I got three. Okay. Uh, no, four was too much, I think, last time. Yeah, go two or one. Okay, I'm going to go one. All right. Well, look at the wind out there now. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Three, two. Somehow we all made different wind calls and we were all wrong. We would have smashed a bird if it was just two inches left of this bird. Watch as they track right past his chest. It must have sounded like a hornet's nest. Dang. Uh, one side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm giving him three. Alright, I got two, you got three. On the left. Yeah, what do you got, Norm? I'm gonna hold. You're gonna hold one? Yep. Alright, ready? Ready. Yep. 
three, two. Oh hit. yeah. Feathers. Feathers. And he's go. Oh, oh, whoa, oh down. I almost feel bad for this pigeon. He tried so hard to get out of the way. I mean, he really tried to matrix it, but there's three buzzing slugs coming in, and he just can't get out of the way in time. They all take him, and uh, he doesn't last long. The good news is we're going to roll through some awesome slow-mos. The bad news is that's the last new clip from when Bob came to hunt with me and Norm. The experience we had was so much fun. I mean, in a day and a half of hunting, we made three videos worth, and they're just salt to the earth guys. I'm so lucky to be able to hang out with guys like Norm and Bob, and we hit it off so well. I'll stop talking and uh, let you enjoy these slow-mo projectiles in flight. And until next time, we out. Done. Done, done.